guys, welcome back. And I am in the steam of cooking dinner. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Uh, today is Tuesday, Tuesday in my life. So today has been one of those days. My toddler has had a fever last night of 104. He went back down, gave him some Tylenol. Long and the short of it is, um, he did sleep last night, but I can't get him to see the doctor until tomorrow. So he is still running at low-grade fever at times, not all throughout the day. So he's getting better, but he's still fighting something. So I want to know what he's fighting. So doctor tomorrow. Right now he's eating some yogurt with some maple syrup on it just to get some calories in him. And so far it's kind of going okay. Um, I am making dinner right now. I just put some butternut, or not butternut, I just put some spaghetti squash in the oven and I am making mild Italian sausage, um, kind of like pasta for it to uh, put on top. So I've got some chopped garlic, fresh basil. These guys I actually took out of the freezer and sausage. I got four of those that I'm going to chop up nice and finely. And then I've got this awesome, I can never pronounce it. I say balconies and I know it's totally wrong. Hold on a second. I use this stuff, balconies, balconies. Um, but I really love it because it's awesome. Now, what do I do when my toddler is not well to make him feel better? I use my Zoku popsicle maker. You guys want to see it? It's really cool. You can actually make, I'll put a link actually to this particular product, but the Zoku, you can actually make popsicles that are good for your toddler. So when your kid has a sore throat, giving them a really sugar filled popsicle is a terrible idea, I think, but giving them a Zoku homemade smoothie popsicle is awesome. Um, this particular one can make up to nine popsicles, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna get your spoon. Hold on a second, kiddo. Anyway, so bear with me, but this is what I was doing this afternoon, making him awesome yummy popsicles that have like, fruit and a little bit of yogurt in them and uh, they're just delicious and they last in your freezer for a bit. They're fresh and they're nice when you have a sore throat or your mouth hurts or whatever's going on where a kid doesn't want to eat. They'll usually eat a homemade popsicle with a Zoku maker. Super rad product. So I got my toddler on my leg right now sitting down. I've got my sausage with my garlic and my basil cooking. So my spaghetti sauce waiting to go into it. My little guy wants a little bit of sausage. If he's gonna eat it, that's great. So I'll give him a little bit to see if he will. His mouth is sore right now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, last night, you guys, I made the most amazing portobello mushrooms. I love them, I highly recommend doing it. Um, so what I did is I took a tablespoon of um, olive oil. I took two large red tomatoes, cut them up really thin, diced them up. Then I added about half a tablespoon to a quarter of a tablespoon of fresh basil. And I mixed in the olive oil and the tomatoes and the basil, a little bit of Himalayan salt, a little bit of pepper. And then that was gonna be my filling for my portobello mushrooms. And then on top, I sprinkled shredded Havarti cheese. Baked for 20 to 25 minutes, not exactly 100% sure, at 350 though. Um, and they were just absolutely a delight to eat. Super flavorful. My delicious spaghetti squash with Italian mild sausage, basil, and lots of garlic. This is just delicious. Like, look at that. It'd be really funny if it fell off the plate. So, I'll leave you guys there. My husband's like thinking I'm absolutely insane doing vlogging. <laughs> but he's supportive in my life. My Tuesday thoughts. My Tuesday thoughts. Hold on. My Tuesday thoughts are find somebody that supports you on your endeavors in life because it's important to be creative. Um, so I'll leave you there. But tomorrow we're going to Canmore, which is a super pretty mountainous town. And uh, stay tuned for a cool vlog from there. Bye.